Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And it's time to take on the latest, you know, two stages of the EX Challenge quest. The Space and Wind versus Veldora and Charybdis Zhangxi. If I said that wrong, I'm sorry. But we're going to start with Veldora, the space team. Uh, I don't think it will be terribly difficult because space is still really good. Oh, spoiler alert. Um, what are the missions related to it? So, 9 turns, 220 skill points, 5 alive, 3 magic changing skills, and a full combo of blue. Okay, well I think we know what space team can use 220 skill points and get a full combo of blue. Uh, so I'm gonna go build that and we'll be right back. Alright, we're back. This team can definitely get the, you know, get it done. We've got orb changing, orb changing, orb changing. Uh, we've got, you know, Drago and space buff, alt boost, crit buff, crit damage buff. We can definitely use all of these to get 220 skill points. This is what, 165 by itself, 180 technically. So it won't be difficult to use another orb changing carrion's buff in the same turn. So let's just jump in and see how the first hand of RNG treat, uh, treats us. Alright. Veldora. Butt shot. Okay. So, uh, well, I mean, it's not a... It's not a terrible hand, actually, so I'm gonna just swap you out for Shuna, and we're gonna send these two greens. Maybe not the best idea, because then I could have swapped Rimuru, but oh well. Um, yeah, we don't have enough points for that, though. Alright, so here's what we'll do. We'll bring the hero in for Milam. We'll send one more green. <laughs> We're going to go about this the slow and steady wins the race kind of format. Alright, that works, because that's an entire hand. Rimuru does have type disadvantage, and Shuna does, so we're running a little bit um, underpowered, I guess. Not optimal, but the orb changing is really what's going to matter here. So we'll do that. We'll get you out of here, and then we'll send all this. That'll get us a double protection, so that's good. That'll be it's two stacks, 80 points. And then we only need really one more stack to get that 220. Okay. What's this look like? So we've got all three up front. Let's stack Veldora. And let's do it again. So alternate teams that you're going to bring on here, I probably would not suggest bringing the water stack team because obviously you have type disadvantage and it wouldn't do you too much good. But you can definitely bring another stacking team, which we'll show off in here. And probably you don't even need to bring a stacking team, so maybe we'll try fire, I guess. Um, let's just send these greens, get some, get some points. Remember, Veldora is buffing your skill point gain on every single type of orb, not just blues like the most recent stacking teams do. So it does help out. Uh, but it also can be a hindrance because he only buffs 50% at a time instead of 100% at a time. So it is kind of unfortunate. Um, do, do, do. Let's use Carrion's orb change. And then we can use... The green orb change, and then we'll bring Shuna in and we'll use her final orb change. And then we also have enough for the rewind, so let's just use that. And get some extra protection gauge on this. And then hopefully we, I mean, we can't, we, we've already used like all of our switches and all of our orb changes, so hopefully the rewind treats us okay. It probably won't. And, well, I mean, yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world. Alright, so there's our third, you know, required stack for that 220. Why does that keep playing? Turn that off. There we go. And, uh, yeah, we'll send these. That way we'll get another stack there. Now we just need points. We just need to build up enough points. So this could hurt. 
Never mind. I lied. Alright. One more stack. And then we'll start focusing on actually trying to get skill points because we need 220 and we're not getting 220 right now. So, we'll send these carrions and then we'll send a whole bunch of heroes next turn and that should... Yeah, that'll get us to 220 minimum. Probably fill us up, actually. Another alt coming, so you have to go away now. Let's bring you in. Because we weren't going to send her orb anyways. Yeah, okay, so we're maxed out on points, so we're ready to nuke turn 8. The, the space team definitely showing its age as far as stacking speed is concerned, even with Rimuru. It's just the amount of points you get is pretty abysmal compared to a team that's, you know, still focused on blues, but also getting double the amount of points every turn, every single stack. So it and it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So let's do 55, 55, 30. So that's 140 points right there. We'll bring Shuna in for another 55 points. So we got to use 165, so that's one 195 we're sitting at right now. Yeah, so let's use some orb changes then. And then Shuna can come in for carrion. And then this will be the 220 skill points. Alright, because we use, yeah, 240. So we're ready to go. Full confidence that we kill here. Milim is just still a very competent DPS. Even if her, even if her you know, dedicated space team is not the greatest anymore, she herself is still very, very good DPS. So how much do we do? 200,000 and we didn't kill. Actually kind of surprised. Wow, we gotta, we gotta have the hero clean up. Who's going to do 79k? Hmm. If we had more stacks, maybe. Oh, well. I mean, we got it done, right? That's That should be every single mission, except for the clear it multiple times with everyone living. Or maybe that was only a one-term mission. Nope, that was everything. Okay, so let's try again with a few other teams. One stacking and one not stacking. Alright, so we're going to use a different team now, um, the Fire 2.0 team, so we're going to not rely on stacking power, but more burn power than anything else. Uh, one thing to note is that this team is not physically capable of getting to 220 skill points in one turn, right? The, the maximum you can have is a full, full points and two full protection meters of Toa, which is 180 skill points. So it's just, it's not physically possible. So if you're looking, if you have just like a really, really weak stacking team, I guess you can try and use that to get the 220 mission and then come back and use like your actually good dark fire team. I don't know. It's just, you know, variety, right? I don't have any doubts that this team can do it. Now, Veldora does nerf orange damage by 50% for four turns, but that's not really... We can wait that out and then use a whole bunch of buffs from Violet and just wreck this thing. I don't really have an issue with that. How much health does he have, by the way? Because he survived a 200% hit from... Um, he has 311, which is decent. He has 11,000 defense, again, which is decent. Um, oh. Well, that's something. Uh, ooh... Man, sometimes I wish I had Velzard with me right now, huh? Okay, we're gonna make use of that before she they nerf the oranges. So we're just gonna bring you in now. And then we'll bring Benny Mario in for Hero. And we'll send these. And 32k and a cheeky counter, because why not? When do the oranges get nerfed? Not immediately, I'll tell you that much. Okay, there's a whole bunch of blues. No Benny Mari orbs, though. Alright, counter. 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 And... Counter. Look at that, alright. Now does he nerf them? Because if not, then I'm going to... Okay, yeah, there's the nerf. So, it's only damage, it's not gauge increase. So, I mean, we can we can still be okay here. 
And we're going to try and build up to like a full 180 skill point turn. But it's going to take a hot minute for that to actually happen. So we're just going to kind of work with what we got. He's got extra defense and guard. Another counterattack, even though he's not giving himself counters. Alright, we have Violet's ult. Uh, so let's go ahead and use her skill now. At least one of them. That way she has it. And then we'll swap her out for Guy. Yeah. So we'll do this. What turn does his defenses go away? Stop countering! Jesus! Ooh, that's a lot of buffs. And it all leaves next turn. Okay. Perfect. Oh, even better, because we can use this. Get a whole hand of green, put a stack of burn on him. Okay, alright, yeah, we're looking good. This will be max points as well. Not enough to get Benny Morrow's ult, unfortunately. Okay. And another counter. Oh my god. Alright, that hurt those two a little bit. Alright, his defenses are gone. I kind of want to get a Benny Maru ult, but we have no way to get a Benny Maru ult, so thanks for that. <laughs> we can get a Shizu ult. I mean, that's something, right? Let's just do that. We're going to nuke next turn, that way we still have that stack of burn. Yes, okay. So, let's do the ult buff. Alright, and then we will bring Violet in for Guy. Okay, there's a full hand of blue, which is fine because we're going to use Toa twice. So we're going to change all those to orange. Let's use that burn. Uh, let's use the orange buff and instant damage. And then we will... Do, 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 do. We'll use this. Alright, so that works. So now Benny Maru can go away. And then we can use Hero's Burn, Hero's Orange Orb Giveaway to Violet. Alright, and then we can use one more Toa, change that last blue to orange, and then have enough points to use the Fire Boost here. So now we have three stacks of burn, so 60% burn, a whole bunch of debuffs. He's got his crit damage and crit rate up, which doesn't matter. So we're going to send the ult for Shizu first. That way we lower the pierce resistance. And then Violet already has the her own buffs and the pierce, ri or the pierce power from Shizu on the previous turns that we sent it. And then we'll send these, and then maybe we kill? I don't know, it kind of depends on how much burn damage we do. Uh, 17k with Shizu is not great. Violet... How much does Violet do? Probably like 120? I'm thinking 120. Hundred and one, even less. Alright, but these oranges, yeah, will do a crap ton of damage. And then the burn will kill. Yeah. How much does the burn do? 148. Yeah, that's that's quite a chunk of damage right there. And turn 7, we finished it technically faster than the space team. Technically. Alright. Uh, we'll do one more team. We'll do another stacking team, and then we'll call this video good. There's a whole bunch of teams that can beat this, really. So we'll come right back. Alright, we're back. And we're going to use the newest stacking team, the Light Team, with the new Millen that just recently came out. Um, we, we've really just swapped three units in a protector because we've left Rimuru and Shuna here because they're such good, you know, orb changers. And then we've we've brought in um, the Light Millum, Light Leon, and then Raphael. And this team can definitely do 220 skill points because we've got one, two, three, four, five big buffs that we could use here. So plenty to go around. We just need to get there. But thankfully, the blues stack points much faster than space. So let's just kind of get these out of the way. Get these greens out of here. 
He does have counterattack, so I kind of don't want to hit him, especially with all these water units. And I also don't want these water units to get smacked, so we're going to just take them out. And yeah, we'll do that. Okay, we'll just send the one Leon Orb. And then the counterattack. And then the alt. Negating damage. Alright. So there's the orange nerf. We have enough points, though. So let's bring out mm, Leon, I guess. We'll use the green. And then we'll bring Shuna in for the blue. Change those. That'll be probably a double send. Yeah, that'll be definitely a double send of... Double stack of Shuna. Back up to 56 points because we're, you know, we haven't stacked yet. Guarding everything, which is fine. We're going to do a lot more damage than the space team did with this team. Just because of the power creep. That team is seven, almost, you know, going on eight months old now, right? It's It's been a hot minute since Space 1.0 released. But the hero is still the best unit in the game. And Space Millum, probably the best, you know, one-to-one -one DPS unit, with at least potential-wise. So, we're looking good. Alright, um... What can we do here? Alright, yeah, we... Well, eh, actually... We can use the steel, but then we would need something else. Yeah, that's, that's the unfortunate problem with going four turns before getting, you know, any stacks. Huh. Alright, let's get these greens out of here then. Pop, pop, and pop. Hopefully we get some more blues. That, okay, that's that's good. If I had brought Soka, that would be great, but we didn't, so oh well. Let's use Milam Steel. And then let's use Shuna's Orb Change again. And then we'll just send this. That'll get us a lot of points right there. Yeah, 149. Space Team wishes they can get 149 points after two stacks. Alright. Raphael has an ult. We have a whole bunch of oranges. That hit Shuna decently hard. Alright. We need to get up to... What is it? So 222... 275 is how much we'd need to use all five of the big buffs, if I do if I do math correctly. Yeah. One, two, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. If, yeah. Math is hard. I'm okay at it. No, I'm not okay at it. Alright, so we'll get you out. And, great, we have one blue again. We're gonna send these oranges. Alright, that looks a little better. I do not want Shuna to take that alt, so you're gonna go bye-bye. So let's do that. And then let's bring Rimuru in. Use the green orb change. Oh, I missed something. There we go. Alright, there's two more stacks, so now once we get those two on and then get enough points to get back up there, we can use all the big major buffs, and then we can say goodbye to Veldora. And that will be the end of the video. Alright, so Milim has an alt. So we'll bring Raphael in, and then we'll steal... no, not steal, we'll stack, and then another stack... And then we should be able to... Actually, no, we won't. We'll be one blue shy. So we'll bring Shuna in for Raphael. We'll use her orb change. That'll get us five, which I think is still enough points, right? Yeah, it's still enough, so we're good. 300 points, turn nine. So we've done turn seven, eight, and nine kills with varying teams of different strategies. Well, Similar strategies, but different strategies also. So let's use the alt buff here, because it's now time to say goodbye to Veldora. And then we'll get Shuna out. Yes, yeah, so Shuna will come out. Rimuru will come out. 
and then we'll use all of this. So pop, 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 pop. So that's a light attack, the stun strike, the stun itself, which didn't actually work. So we're going to be missing a, ch a chunk of damage here because, you know, we cannot stun him. He has 100% resistance to stun. We're still going to kill, though. We're still going to kill by virtue of all of the buffs that we have. And I will be very surprised if we don't. Raphael, we're going to skip this. 157. Oh, maybe we won't kill. 65. Leon. 50k. Alright, we did kill. It's just, you know, negating stun. Again, showing the slight limited um, power of the light 3.0 team in stages where you can't stun. You're negating half of Rimuru's skill and a quarter of the reason why you're using light tuna to stack being the stun strike. So, unfortunate, it still can do it. You're better off just using the space team, because that's what you're supposed to use, or some other team, and just pray for a natural hand of blue. Either way, it works for you. There's there's a bunch of teams, but, you know, that's it for me, guys. Let me know in the comments what teams you use to beat this, but take it easy, and I'll see you later.